Alright, in my writing anti-statism circa 2011, the 10 page document, I've explained the meaning, function, and purpose of the state, and I've explained the problems of the state, but I haven't done a good job or even tried to explain the form of the state. And the form of the state is a very important thing because you want to know how the state's structured, how it looks like. If I describe the penis as being some sexual organ, but never talked about the form of the penis, then you'll probably be lost if you never knew what a penis was. All in all, describing the state isn't very complicated in its form. Its form's simply a bunch of borders, or just one border, really. So there's no complications in describing the form, but there is in describing the purpose of why the forms this complicated thing. It's important to talk about. These borders are very similar to basically cell membranes. They don't really do a good job of protecting the cell from outer dangers, but regulating what goes in and out. Think about it like this. The cell the cell starches can't get in directly to the cell because of the cell membranes, but arsenin can. And arsenin's much more dangerous than starch. Even though starch isn't very vital. In many ways you could consider the importations of goods to be identical to the importations of immigrants. Really, it's trying to obtain wealth from other nations. And the wealth of having immigrants really depends on their talents or lack of talents. There are many ways you can pass through a nation, through a state specifically. It could be because you have the potential to offset some talent from another state into that state as a corporation, or because you're so utterly worthless that you'll be good for cheap labor. And this, and these are just the inconveniences. Let me tell you about the real problem with this, a real legitimate problem. When you basically have the power to sort of limit what goes in and what goes out, the market and government become your bitch. And polycentricity comes to a good decline in the nation, ultimately becoming more and more monocentric which isn't good for nations. It's good for tribes, but it isn't good for nations. And that's bad. That's really bad. Because that's where the primary error of law steps in in regards to states.